Hi, in this video we're going to be unboxing the Sophos SG-125 firewall. The first thing in the box is the quick start guide, which will help you set up the firewall. The firewall is set up via web browser, so the default IP address is an important piece of information that's included in the quick start guide. Next we have the safety instructions and regulatory information. Here is a hardware test report confirming that the unit was in good working order when it left the factory. Now we have the power supply. Included in the power supply box is the power supply itself and modular connectors for European, UK, and North American electrical systems. The power supply is rated for an input voltage of between 100 and 240 volts AC, so it will work worldwide once the proper plug is attached. The DC end has a threaded connector to prevent the plug from falling out or being accidentally pulled out. Next we have the firewall itself, protected nicely by foam and plastic wrap. They've also included an Ethernet cable, a USB cable for console connections, and a small plastic bag containing the desktop mounting feet and stickers with the unit's MAC address and serial number. Now that everything's out of the box, the next step is to assemble the power supply and apply the desktop mounting feet to the bottom of the unit. First, we'll remove the protective film from the appropriate modular plug. Next, we'll slide the plug into the power supply until it clicks. Now we'll get the desktop mounting feet out of the bag and stick one on each of the marked areas on the underside of the unit. On the back of the unit, there are two power ports that can be used to enable redundant power if you purchase a second power supply. Next is the power button, an HDMI port for console access, and a USB port which can be used to connect a keyboard or storage device to reflash the firmware. Next is a USB port and RJ45 port for console access. Now we have an SFP port, followed by eight Ethernet ports a reset button, and an expansion slot. On the front of the unit, there are link and activity indicators for each of the network interfaces, as well as some system indicators, including power and disk activity. Now we'll connect the power supply. It plugs straight in and then the threaded ring is twisted to lock the plug into place. Now the firewall is ready for initial setup. 